Hey guys, it's Greg, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this exact e commerce website with every single feature you see here in WordPress. Even though it's a pet products website, you can create whatever kind of website you want. Each section can be easily replicated or moved around. Because it's WordPress, that doesn't mean this is difficult or something you should get someone else to do for you. For example, this is the screen where you can create your own new products. It's amazing and looks a lot like Microsoft Word, doesn't it? You'll learn how to make it mobile friendly and responsive too, so your website always looks good, no matter what device the customer is using. And so you can be confident that you'll never lose a sale over some silly design flaw. And you don't need to know any code to build this website because it's built using Visual Composer, a drag and drop page builder. In other words, you can be a total beginner with no previous computer experience and walk away from this tutorial with this exact website to call your own. But just because you might be curious, I'll show you the basics of WordPress code just for your own bragging rights and write out a few snippets for you just so you can be a little bit more powerful. This video is long and that might upset some people people that would rather take a two-day seminar and pay $5,000 to learn web design in a large group. But we on YouTube like the freedom to build at our own pace in a straightforward structure, stop and go, more features, more content, with personal help, and of course on a budget because those are the things that give us value and that's why I made the video so long. At the moment, it's the longest web design video ever, but you'll laugh when I tell you it's actually quite short compared to the time a web developer would make you wait while they built this website for you. A year ago, I showed the world how to create an e-commerce website in WordPress for the first time. And the result was amazing. But today is a new day. The web has changed a lot and you need more. You need to know how to create the basics easy stuff like a miniature logo, a call to action, and a button on top of a hero image. And you need features to make your website stand apart from others, like this pop-out cart I designed after my favorite menswear site, Jack Threads, as well as a customized Your Account page, designed to look like Amazon. Not to mention a pop-up video feature where you could show off an advertisement or maybe just talk about your company. And of course, a beautiful looking shop, complete with a membership option where you can charge your customers on a recurring basis and offer them ongoing incentives based on the membership level they select. And of course, the usual slew of bonuses from yours truly. This year, we're also going to learn how to pay with Amazon and how to let your customers pay with Amazon. Because in reality, there's a lot more people that are on Amazon every day and are used to conducting transactions there than the amount of people that are on PayPal, which was the previous best method because it lets you pay through PayPal or a credit card, but it does take you to the PayPal screen. So we're gonna get both options, along with these other three. Some of my other favorite features are just having different product categories and styling them how you like. If we click on pillows, for example, you can set up this nice graphic and explain to people why your products are good or when they're gonna like them after a long day. 
you can do that on another page and create as many pages as you want. Of course the theme on these two pages is sleep and resting. And then my above all favorite feature of this website that took me the longest time to make is the Your Account page, which is designed to reflect how Amazon.com looks. We get our user photo right here, and when someone signs up, their username or their first name or last name or whatever you choose will show up right here to personalize the account page. And then they can click the useful links, check out their recent orders that they made to your site, update their address, and hopefully make this page as customized as they'd like for their own site. And it's all really easy to use. If we visit Amazon, we can see where I got the motivation for this website design and for this website user experience, or UX. Let's click on an account page right here, and we can see my girlfriend, Michelle, is logged in. But you get this nice username showing them that they own your store, Michelle's Amazon. You get some other details like customer sense and then the useful links. If you check out our website on the your account page. You get this nice profile picture, the username, the useful date when someone first logged in, and then you get the useful links. If you see the structure of the drop down menu, people can easily check out your account, your orders, your wish list, or interact with your site in other ways, which we're going to learn today. And if you go to Amazon, people can check out your account, your orders, your list, and the other useful links. The idea is to provide your customers and your future customers with the most complete experience possible. A better experience than they've found on any other website on the web and that any other tutorial or website software could give you. Because nowadays the websites that are the most successful are the ones that do provide a total experience and do tell your story in a complete way to people and let them have fun and customize things as opposed to the websites where someone just puts up a bunch of images, text, and buttons and calls it beautiful.